Hello, this is a short tutorial about a uh, Google Forms add-on called Form Publisher. Now, many of you know that I love Google Forms. I think we should use them more than we already do, uh, partly to cut out some of the boring, repetitive tasks that we currently have to do, like marking. However, um, there's one thing that's always been a little bit tricky on forms, particularly when it's the kind of form when you want the students to go back and see their responses maybe a while later, um, mm. maybe for revision, that sort of thing. As the creator or owner of the form, it's quite easy for us to see the responses just using the Responses tab. Um, or you could view the data on a spreadsheet, of course. But it is much harder for the pupils. Um, I guess you could share the spreadsheet with them, but you might not want them to see everyone else's answers. This is a really good solution. You need an add-on to Google Forms called Form Publisher. So I'm here within uh, Forms, and if I click on the three dots here, one of the options is to come down here to add-ons. If you click that, uh, you'll be able to search here for Form Publisher. But in fact, this is the one that um, uh, that I want. This is the, the icon that you're looking for. So you just click on that and install. I won't do that now, obviously, because I've, um, I've already done that, but it's a very uh, simple process. And what it does is to send an automated summary of their responses to each pupil. Um, it'll send it as a Google Doc or Sheets or Slides um, and you will have a copy of that in your drive as well. It does take a couple of minutes to set up at first but then everything is automated and you don't have to do anything. So once it's installed these are the steps to follow. Number one is to create your form. Now it's important to make sure that all the questions are unique um, even if you want to repeat a question, make sure there's something to distinguish it, like a, a number. Um, otherwise, form publishers will get um, a little bit confused. Um, if we come up here into the settings, uh, it's important to make sure you've ticked the collect email uh, addresses button. Um, otherwise, form publisher won't be able to send um, the automated copies uh, to the relevant person. So I'm going to do that and click save. Um, and then you want to click Add-ons, which is here. Uh, select that, select Form Publisher, and then Get Started. Um, in a moment, a little box will appear down here, and you can choose the format that you want to send to respondents. Um, I'm going to use Docs, but you can see you could choose Sheets or Slides or, or even your own template if you wanted. So I'm going to click on Docs, uh, it whirs around for a moment, and does whatever it needs to do and then uh, I've got this button here to edit my template so if you click that it will open the template and you can see this is what it will look like now you might decide you don't want this purple box so you can get rid of that you can get rid of the image you can change the title you could decide to um, have the questions in bold you could make some more space between them whatever you want Okay. The important thing is that you don't change anything inside the double arrows. Um, if you do that, Form Publisher won't be able to pick up the responses and it won't um, enter as you want. So back to the form. Come back to this Form Publisher dialog box, click Next. Again, it'll work for a moment and then uh, and this page you can change the folder where you want to save the documents um, that you can do that here using the, the change button um, I have to admit I tend to leave this and then rename it in Drive later if I um, if I need to um, one thing I do tend to do is to change the title of the files so by default it will just add an increment so it'll be the uh, the title of it and then uh, it'll just add one number um, but uh, I tend to just replace that with, if I've used a what is your name question, I tend to highlight that and then just copy that into this place here. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to find the, um, uh, find the file later when you, when you need to. Um, I do tick these boxes. Uh, it puts a, a link into the overall spreadsheet to each document generated so that you can easily find the docs from the spreadsheet without having to go into Drive. And then the last stage, um, this is where you uh, choose the format that goes back to the, um, to the respondent. 
So you can choose here whether you want them to be able to have editing, view or comment rights for the document. Um, I have to admit I tend to leave it, to set this to comment rights. Um, you can also choose to here if you want a PDF as well as the uh, doc on your Google Drive. Uh, it seems overkill to me but you might want one for some reason. Um, and with this button here, the edit email, you can customise the email sent to notify respondents that the doc has been sent to the drive. Uh, I tend not to bother with this, the email is fine as it is. And then click done. And that's it. Um, so you can see it's not absolutely effortless and it will take a couple of times to get used to it. Um, but when you do get used to it, it is pretty quick to set up. Um, and it's a whole lot quicker than having to set up separate documents, send screenshots, etc. Give permissions to pupils to access the forms. It, it, it just makes that whole business um, of being able to look back at your answers, if you're a pupil, that much easier.